Hi guys, it's Amy, your golf coach. Today's question is from Drop 10 Shot Series Rory's Secret Move Lesson with the driver. The question is, during the winter series, you did a similar drill but included a slide with the trail hip. Should there be a slide here too or is it just for the iron swing? You know what, it's a great question. So for the winter series, I only used a seven iron during the whole entire series. So I'm actually going to change the title to seven iron series instead of winter series, just to clarify things. Now, for the drop 10 shot series, for the Rory secret move with the ther therapeutic bands drill I did was for the driver swing only. Let me just go through and clarify the difference in weight shift between the driver swing and the iron swing. All right, so when you're hitting a seven iron, you set up to the golf ball and you make a backswing. For the backswing, you're supposed to stay centered and coil, which applies the same for all the clubs. Just the downswing is different now. So downswing with the seven iron, you want to shift all at once. So all your weight is in the lead side and then the impact happens sort of like this. So you're striking the ball first and then that beautiful divot happens right after. That's the correct down below attack angle we want to achieve. If I break it down a little bit more, what exactly happens is after you coil centered, in that transition between the backswing and the downswing, you step into the ball of that lead foot. So you have about 90 to 100% in the ball of that front foot. So all the weight is in the front foot. And then as your downswing starts and your hips turn, now that weight shifts into the outer edge of your lead heel right there. So 90 to 100% on that side of your body. And then the impact happens right away. That's the detailed breakdown. So basically you turn centered and you ship ball, heel, and then the impact happens. So with the band, Let's pretend there's a wall behind our hips. And with the band, instead of doing push, push, like I showed you for the Rory lesson, we're going to be doing push, slide. Your hips are not coming off the wall, it's staying on the wall and pushing against the wall, but you're adding the slide. So it goes push, slide is for the seven iron. Push, slide. Now let's move on to the driver weight shift. Now for the driver, exact same backswing, you're going to stay centered and coil. And if you do the same weight shift as a seven iron, now you're gonna go down below into it, hitting down on the golf ball like this. So you're gonna pop it up and slice it to the right because the ball is up on the tee. And if you shift all at once, you're gonna hit down on it. You're not gonna have time to release that club face. So it'll be open. So it's a really high popped up to the right kind of a miss. So we don't want to shift all at once for the driver. We need to put a little delay to your waist shift and we call that the hang back. Let me go into depth of what a hang back is. You make that same back swing, center coil, on the way down, you go right into rotating your hips and you press into the ball of your trail foot. There's a lot of weight, I would say about 80% to 90% pressure in that right foot. Feels like a lot of tension. And what that does is that it kind of delays your weight shift and that's going to help you to bottom out that club head before the ball. So that way your club head is moving in an upward angle. So you catch the ball in an up low angle that's going to lower your backspin, making that ball flight more piercing. And once it lands, it's really going to roll out a lot more, giving you that extra distance. And when you bottom it out beautifully with that correct hang back, now from here to the ball, the club head starts releasing beautifully. You will catch the ball with more square face. If you don't bottom it out, you won't have time to release the face. So you usually go in with an open face, which causes a big banana slice. We don't want that. So the hang back is really important in the driver's weight shift. And if I show you that with the band, looks like this. You hold it, pretend there's a wall behind you. And just like I've shown you in the drop 10 shot series, you're going to push twice in the back swing once on the way down twice. Push, 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 push. So it's a little different than the push slide of that seven iron, right? You want to push, push. And once you make contact with the golf ball, you will continue to finish shifting your weight to the lead side. Because remember, we're just delaying that weight shift. We're not completely stopping it. So you de push, push delay, and, but you're continuing to finish all the way into your lead side. So for the irons, it's 
push, slide. Push, slide. For the driver, it's a push, push. Push, push. And there's a difference in the weight shift. Now you understand the difference between an iron and a driver's weight shift. So please use push, push for the driver's swing and push, slide for the iron swing. Become familiar with the correct weight shift. This is going to help you to hit every club in your bag longer and straighter. I hope this helps answer your question. Thank you so much for golfing with me today and see you in the next one. Mwah.